Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the COD kit. This is the regular version. Uh, this is the one that came out with the base game. It is uh, just going to be called the Corvette for the game, for the video. I don't like COD kit. Uh, but anyway, this is part of my series I'm doing where I'm reviewing all the cars that I own in GTA. Some cars I have, some cars I don't. I'll review all that I have and then all that uh, I end up buying in the future will be added in, in the description below we will have a link to the sports car reviews the playlist and then it will also have a link to the um, car reviews in general which right now will just be sports but as we progress we'll eventually include uh, other classes of car anyway this car has the Corvette has a time of 1 minute 27 seconds and uh, basically a half almost that's not bad but it could be better so the straight line speed you know whatever um, it's definitely not the fastest super uh, sports car in the game could be faster but it's also not the slowest anyway I have to show all this because just to show that it was honest testing or whatever but um, I hope you guys do enjoy the video if you do make sure you like and subscribe to the channel um, comment, you know, any questions you have down below, let me know. I'll try to answer them. If I can't, then I'm sorry. Just ask, and we'll find out, right? So, this is new in the series, though, is this, uh, this track. I got the track because I figured this is more fair. It's, every car hits the same track, and then, you know, I get a more gen I get a better idea because there's no traffic. And I do wreck in some of these videos and some of the clips. I don't know if I reckon this one, but, you know, I'm not going for wrecking or not or at a certain time. It's fucking stupid. I'm going for just handling and getting a feel with the car. So, that's why, you know, wrecks are even in here. I don't care about the time on this track. Anyway, the uh, Corvette can be bought for $138,000 on Legendary Motorsports. It's very cheap compared to other supercars. I mean, sports cars. For other uh, sports cars, this is a very good price and... Uh, I would definitely recommend getting it if you have the extra money to blow on it. Now, it's pretty decent handling. I, I love the handling of it. Uh, it's kind of meh on the speed. Like I said with the straight line test, it's you know it could be better speed, but you know it's not the slowest. It it, it could be better. Uh, it has pretty good acceleration. Um, it's a fucking Corvette, might as well, right? It's a very cheap price compared to what some sports cars are today like there's one that will be in here the Sultan Classic that's a million seven hundred thousand dollars like and then there's the Lynx the Ocelot Lynx that's like 1.6 mil or 1.5 mil something like that and it's uh, you know that's a lot These this car is not nowhere near that price and that's kind of why I like it uh, it's a very decent car it's fun to drive around in free mode I love it I love Corvettes, but I also love this car just driving around in free mode. I, it's cool. Uh, it doesn't have a, really a lot of customization, though, which is a problem. For the time that it came out, that was normal. But now it doesn't have any customization compared to what it should. I think they should release another Corvette. Um, just because this, you know, this Corvette's nice, but might as well release one. I mean, shit, the game's seven years old, and this has been in the game for seven years. Well, it's not seven years yet, but it is soon. And this has been in there ever since the game has come out. So it's like, you know, come on, we gotta release one. Come on, Rockstar, what you doing? Uh, the Corvette's definitely not for racing. If you're expecting to win a bunch of races with it, I wouldn't buy it. If you're just buying this to race with, don't get it. Because it's not going to help you uh, get the car like a Pariah or something. It is a good car, but there's better options out there. And there's, you know, cars going to beat them easily. Anyway, that's it for the video. If you want to see the customization, you can continue watching. It'll be uh, next. It is sped up four times, so what you have to do if you want to see it regular, and I don't talk in this part of it, but if you want to see it regular, then you have to slow the video down to 0.25, and you do that by clicking on the little settings thing in the toolbar, and then you go to playback speed and then 0.25. It might be a little choppy. I don't know if it is. It's whatever, you know, it's just the customization. It's not that big of a thing. The car doesn't have a lot of customization, but if you want to see it, there you go. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, like I said at the start, comment down below. I'll try and answer them, and if I can't, then, oh shit. 
if you like what you see, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Stay safe. Peace out.